Okay, tax season, we're into it. A month into tax season, and millions of Americans have already gotten their refund, but many have also had their refunds stolen. So how can you make sure your money is safe, and when can you expect your money to come in? We've got an update tonight with certified financial planner Al Gobo, partner of U.S. Financial Services. Welcome back, Al. Um, So the numbers, I guess, speak to a pretty decent uh, return year so far. Seven million refunds uh, filed for and received, and that's about twice the amount you would normally see at this time of the year. What's going on? Yeah, I think, well, first of all, they claim that about 75% of people who file get a refund. So all those folks want to file early, file quickly, and get that refund as soon as possible. We just need UCF uh, financial advisors to get our information out and in the mail quickly. That's correct. (laughs) That's a problem. I mean, we've had folks calling, you know, where's the 1099 for this or for that? And and by law, usually they have to have it by uh, March 1st. But you know, it's been delayed a little this year. Like How usual. much is that average refund, though? The average refund, they say, in America right now is about $3,500. And can I check that online to see where it is in, in the process of getting to my house? Absolutely. You could go online and check today. I mean, most of the filing, by the way, is done by electronically. Uh, the IRS wants it that way because, you know, they have less people working there, and, and folks seem to like that. So uh, the the IRS has been for weeks now saying we don't have enough money to do what we do. There are going to be big delays in refunds. Hmm, not so far. Do you think that's going to happen later in the season? Well, it it might start happening as as we get bunched up and we get into that funnel part of the season where everybody says, "Uh oh, I better file. You know, but uh, some of the new things this year that are happening, I talked to my CPA friends, and one thing in particular is the new box that you have to check off. For? Do you have health insurance? Obamacare. Obamacare. It's going to be an expensive one for a lot of people. Well, it's funny because this year it's easy. You check yes or no. Next year you're going to have to prove it. Companies, insurance companies are going to be sending you what's called a 1095 uh, to make sure you have it. But if you don't have insurance this year, okay, could be $95 a person in a penalty. Up to 1% of your income. 1% of income. Yeah, a lot of people. Whichever is greater, by the way. Yeah, I know a lot of people have had to pay that fine, and they're not too thrilled about it. It can be hundreds and hundreds of dollars. They're not going to be happy. Quickly, before you go, if you had one piece of advice for folks out there who were worried about this refund fraud, what would you tell them to do? Do me a favor. Check your account for accuracy. Make sure everything is the way it's supposed to be. Uh, don't fall for some of these tricks that people, you know, there's something out there called phishing, and it's almost like regular phishing where people are going to send you information in the email. The IRS does not ask you for personal information over the email. No. So don't give people They don't personal, call you. They only, send a certified letter. Yeah, they're letter. only going to send you a letter. Yeah, so don't fall for some of this information, you know, okay. the fake information that's out there. Al Gobo, good to see you. Thank you. Great to see you.